What's going on, guys? Atsu here. We have got the Artifact Strongbox episode 50 million because I don't know how many times I have to do this till I finally get myself a Geo Damage Gobbler for my King Pin Marakintite Zong Li. I'm currently joined by the Planet of the Apes, which are also known as the Snakes, Scammers, Bonobos, Bozos, and Baboons. And I just realized I have the game audio on, so I'm going to switch that off so Zong Li does not keep talking about Osmanthus wine in Japanese in my ear. So I'll see you guys in a moment. Moment. Hey everyone, today's video is sponsored by Tower of Fantasy, which I'm very sure every single one of you guys have already heard about. I've been playing this game since it released on the 11th and have been enjoying my time, especially because it's an MMORPG, meaning I get to play with tons of people from our community to take down some pretty hard bosses. As you can see here, I got clapped several times. However, if you don't know what Tower of Fancy is, it is a massively open world sci-fi MMORPG available on mobile and PC, and you can use the links in the description or the pinned comments to download it right now for free. It has an extremely slick and fast-paced combat system where you can execute a variety of combinations to build up charge for your special ability called a Discharge that has a very, very flashy cutscene animation. The game has already started with a ton of cool characters, King being one of my favorites who I'm yet to pull yet, but I will get there. But guess what? You can customize your own playable character to no disadvantage when it comes to stats. This means you can run around with your anime MC and be a boss. This incidentally on the screen right now is my own anime MC, the femme Seshomaru, and she looks absolutely phenomenal. Download Tower of Fancy today using the link in the description for free, and I'm on the new era server for those of you who wish to join my adventure. Enjoy the video. Today, you are going to see a video that I'm recording live on stream at www.twitch.tv forward slash Asian guy stream as I do a 1,000, yes, a 1,000 hour stream, 41 days of non-stop streaming because I just hecking love Genshin Impact. Now, I know that most of these artifacts that I have here are just absolutely trash because why wouldn't they be absolutely trash? This is Genshin Impact. However, there is always the possibility that we are going to get something absolutely beautiful from the Noblesse Oblige set. And I'm hoping it's going to be a Geo Damage Goblet because believe it or not, guys, I've only ever had two or three Geo Damage Goblets from this artifact strongbox. And I have put in thousands upon thousands upon thousands of mystic offerings. And here we go. Here's another set of 39 artifacts to get ourselves. Ho oh, ho! Wow! Amazing! Oh. Oh. I oh, it's not Geo Damage Goblet, but you know what? It's actually pretty good. Let's take a look at what else is in here. Okay. Okay. Maybe being toxic and flaming the game is the way to go. I got a very promising mask and a very promising goblet. Let's give it a roll. We're going to spin that. It's going to be energy recharge, HP percent or attack percent. Even elemental mastery here is okay. That's not a good start. However, it only has to go into crit rate and crit damage. It's still worth. Yaylan loves having HP. Yaylan absolutely adores HP. Yaylan loves HP, guys. And that gobbler is dead. I love Genshin Impact, guys. I absolutely love Genshin Impact. I can't wait to play this game for another 999 hours. Wow, this is such a good artifact. Surely it's not going to end up terrible. Surely it's going to be amazing. If this rolls max crit, it can go into 11.3. 11.3% crit rate is not bad. But it's been a long time since I took a dub. You know what? You know what? Let me take a look at my other pieces and see what that's like. Because as you can see, we just got this crit damage circlet. 10.9% crit rate. Do I have a single one better than that?
Okay, so basically, we just gained another fantastic circle. We, we just gained another fan- it's- it's- it's alright. I'm willing to chalk that down to one decent artifact gain, guys. You don't agree? It could've been worse. Okay, okay, lots of garbage there. Here we go. What are we gonna get? Anything useful here? No! 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 Maybe! No! No! Okay, not bad. No, no, no. Winnable. Nah. Okay, not bad. We're looking for Zongli HP timepieces as well. I do not have Noblesse on my Zongli. I have Gladiator's Finale because my Gladiator's pieces are just that good. Well, I would at least like to have the option of trying Noblesse pieces on my Zongli. Energy recharge. Okay. Okay. It's still winnable, guys. It's still winnable. It just has to roll crit, maximum crit, two more times. I'm not asking for much. What am I looking for here? 11.7% crit rate or 14% crit damage. It's okay because it was all leading up to this 7% crit rate. Boom. It's okay because all leading up to this 7 point. Okay, still winnable. We will find a way, guys. I don't think I can lie anymore, guys. I'm seeing the end of this video already, and we've only recorded nine minutes. All right, you know what? We'll level this up. I don't even know where I got this piece from, but we'll level it up because I'm desperate. Okay, energy recharge. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> All right. You know what? Let's spice things up. Let's go for some gladiators pieces this time. And you know what? I have a crud ton. And I mean an absolute metric ton, or so I thought I did, of spare five-star artifacts from the Viridescent Venera domain. But apparently, I don't. I only have this. I'm uh, hoping these are all rubbish so I can just feed them in without feeling bad about it. Yes. Okay, okay, we'll get rid of all of those. Terrible, 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 terrible. Okay, that's not bad. Neither is this one. All right, gladiators into gladiatore. Here we go. Boom. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I like that. I like that one. Not great. Not great. Okay, winnable. Not bad. That's not bad. I'm looking for crit damage with crit rate. We didn't get it. I'm looking for attack percent with crit rate, crit damage. That's usable for someone, guys. Okay, listen, I know this artifact set, you don't want it with defense percent, but listen, listen, this is an off piece. This is definitely usable. Physical Arataki to, you know, it's, it's definitely winnable. Look, the Arataki gang, fine tea in the aftermath, you know? It's winnable. That's a sign from Mr. Arataki to himself. Okay, what did we get there? We got ourselves a good physical damage goblet. Because this one's going to roll into crit damage. And when it rolls into crit damage, you guys are all going to start posting your stupid keck weight faces. Like so. And what I mean when I say that is for this Animo Damage Goblet, which is going to roll into crit damage. And you guys are going to be posting all your stupid little keck weight faces. Like so. Oh, it's HP percent again. Well, you guys are all spamming cacao right now. But with this defense piece, when this rolls to 7% crit rate or 14% crit damage, you guys are all going to be like, oh my god. Boom. You see that? Minimum crit rate roll. But that's okay. We got to start somewhere. Sometimes you got to start small. And that's okay. Let's get rid of all of these. And we'll just drop this in because this is absolutely horrific. You see that? It's a minimum crit damage roll. But you got to start somewhere. Some people will tell you that size matters. And yes, in Genshin Impact, maybe size does matter. But it's all about the motion of the minimum crit damage rolls. That's what matters. Because so far, we're only getting crit. And we're only getting crit. And we're only getting crit. And as long as you're hitting the spot, that's what matters. Like this. Boom. And as long as you're hitting the spot, even if you're getting minimum roll after minimum roll after minimum roll, that's three pumps into minimum roll crit damage. It's still winnable. Imagine we get a 3.9. It's going to be 9.7% to 22.5% crit damage. That's a 40 crit value piece. Are you ready for this? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, are you ready? 
for the 40 crit value. Are you ready for the 40 crit value timepiece? Ah, yes. That is a W right there. Ah, oh, you guys were laughing at the minimum rolls. But if it keeps rolling into crit, and it keeps rolling into crit, and it keeps rolling into crit, it doesn't matter, it's still gonna end up as a good piece. I know it's an off piece, but it's better than nothing. And yes, if this was on the bless, it would have been better, but you know, it's better than nothing. Let's go ahead and get our next absolute W. We are going to go back to the noblesse. We are going to sacrifice all of this garbage that you see here. It's all rubbish. None of these pieces will be capped as off pieces. They're all, all definitely garbage. And I can say this with absolute confidence as I deselect some of these. They're all garbage. <clears throat> Let me just save some of these real quick. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I've been looking for a Zhongli Geo Damage Goblet since he's released. That's almost two years. Almost two years. As someone who is known as a Zhongli player, to not have a Zhongli Noblesse Goblet. Disgusting. That's for Venti. I want to see a Zhongli one right here. Kaboom. Okay. That's pretty good. That's also pretty good. So we have an energy recharge timepiece and a, and a flower. Possible. I see some possibilities here. This one right here. Some medium rolls, not the best. But if we can get attack percent, HP percent, energy recharge. Possibilities are endless. If it rolls all into crit rate and crit damage... I mean, that's still good. That's still good, guys. It's noblesse. There's definitely a character out there that can use this. There's definitely a character out there. You guys are laughing, but there is definitely a character out there somewhere that can definitely 100% use this. If it rolls into energy recharge one more time, it just needs one more. It just needs one, 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 one tiny bit more. Just a teeny tiny... I'm not keeping this piece. I think we had a nice looking energy recharge. Was it this one? Yes, it was. Goodbye, 22.7% energy recharge. So what, what, what has happened here? We got one attack roll, one EM, two crit. I mean, you know, it's savable, maybe. Is it? That's not bad. I would say that's a Favonius piece right there. A lot of characters would definitely use this as a Favonius piece. For those of you who don't know, Favonius pieces are basically crit pieces with energy recharge. You want to stack the energy recharge, you need to crit to get Favonius particles. I'd say that's pretty good. I know it's a little bit copium. However, I do have a lot of characters who run energy recharge and also need crit for specifically or Favonius weapons. Okay, we're going to blast through this. This all looks mad copium. Yep, 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 yep. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Another 39 pieces about to go down the drain here. Here we go. Boom. 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 Ho, ho, ho. One feather coming up. One very juicy looking feather coming up. I know there's flat defense, but one juicy feather is coming up okay i'm so confident that this is going to be all this is 32 crit value 32.4 crit value i'm feeding a noblesse feather of 32 crit value into another noblesse feather because you know what this piece right here this piece is gonna be over 40 crit value
I would like to point out, you know, send her piece, guys. This is a send her piece. Why are you guys flipping out? You laugh now, but wait till this goes to like 24%. This this piece right here is about to go to like 24% attack. And you guys won't be laughing anymore. Look at this. That right there is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Shen Her Feather. That right there is actually a really good Shen Her Feather. 25.7% attack. That's pretty darn good. That's pretty darn good. I will take that as a W. I, I will actually take that as a W. Not bad at all. Very nice. Now, if only that was on Gladiators, that would be an absolutely different story. All right, here we go. Another 39 pieces. Okay, we have four goblets. Four goblets. Do we get a geo damage goblet? We got defense. Defense. HP. Defense. Okay. Moving swiftly on. Let's blast through these feathers. They are all looking not very good. Goblets all looking not very good other than that cryo one. We've got the tenacity set again. As I mentioned, I have been farming it for Kuki Shinobu, which does not look great right now. Wow, I have so much garbage. Well, another 39 pieces there. Geo damage goblet. Okay, it's defense again. Geo damage goblet. It's cryo. Feathers are looking mediocre. I'm really just looking for the absolute best of the best. I need crit rate, crit damage, just like that. That looks great. Crit rate, crit damage, sub stats are what I'm looking for. So this flower right here, we have a little bit of potential. We have a little bit of potential. Now, having said that, the one thing I always get from Noblesse boxes, as you can see here, we have a lot of flowers already. So I'm hoping we can get another very good one. So this one that we have here is 37 crit value. We've got 15.2% crit rate, which is a lot of crit rate. Then we have this one here, which is over 40 and and almost 50 crit value. I believe this is the artifact that I have closest to 50 crit value. This is currently at 49.8. And as you can see, it's not actually being used by anyone, which is unfortunate. And then we've got another really good piece here, which is in the 40 crit values, but it's got attack percent as well, which I have as an off piece on Kamisato Ayaka. Pretty good. We've got a decent HP energy recharge one here. This one's a little bit copium. This one's got elemental mastery, somewhat winnable. And then this one, this one is attack percent so i saved that one for someone like shen her all right so with that in mind can we actually get the 50 crit value do i have another flower worth sacrificing here what is this is this usable guys it is the emblem of severed fate set it has 22 percent energy recharge and 18.2 percent defense i feel like this is usable on someone it's for the energy recharge set and it has 22 percent energy recharge goodbye That's pretty good. We're currently on 36 crit value. It's not quite the 50, but any pieces that go over 40 are very, very, very welcome. I would like for this to roll into crit damage. I'll take crit rate too. No! It could have been a 10, 20 piece. That is unfortunately not quite good enough. Oh, that could have been a 1220 piece. That is unfortunate. All right, we still have plenty of artifacts to burn through, though. Another 39 coming up. All of these masks looking like absolute utter trash. And they will all be sacrificed in the name of securing Zhongli. Some absolute Giga Chan artifacts. Goodbye. Another 39 pieces in the bin. Okay, I know it's not Zhongli's piece, but it's winnable. It's definitely winnable. Okay, if this rolls crit damage, it can be huge. I see the vision. I see the vision. I see le potential. Okay, here we go. Hydro damage 
bonus. I do not have a single top tier hydro damage goblet. Now, I have no idea what this artifact piece is. It is quite clearly terrible. So it's going to go straight into the hydro bin. I want to see at least 40 crit value. I'm not being greedy. I am being humble. Someone who is greedy would ask for 50 crit value. But as royalty, I deserve, I have earned at least 40, 40 crit value. Okay, it's a little bit copium. It's not bad. It's not bad. You know, it can still be a decent Yalan piece. It's got potential. It's got a little oomph there. So not only did I get a absolutely useless two times EXP enhancement, which means I lost out on a level nine artifact piece. I, I do not like this game. However, there is still a mask right here that could definitely be winnable with crit damage. And just like that, the cookie crumbles. And we move on again. We move on next. We just keep recycling. Right, what do we have here? That is not bad. That is not good. Not good. I'm ideally looking for attack percent crit rate crit damage on these feathers. Otherwise, they go straight in the bin. Alternatively, max crit rolls are also winnable. I'm starting to run out here of decent pieces, which is not good. Now, for this set specifically, I actually should be looking more at energy recharge and an elemental mastery. Did I have any pieces here with both energy recharge elemental mastery? See, like that kind of piece, I might have to keep at some point. See this? This is a winnable piece for this set. That's a winnable piece. That's not. No. It's okay. It's okay. Boom. 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 Winnable. 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 What? Oh my god. That has to be the worst set. That has to be the worst set of artifacts yet. This is the only winnable artifact right here, and it has to roll crit rate. That mask has to roll crit rate. Otherwise, it's trash. Surely. 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 If this rolls into HP and HP only, I can use this on Zhongli. And I know it sounds like copium, but I could actually use this on Zhongli. Okay, it's dead. This doesn't count. It doesn't count, guys. It doesn't count. It doesn't count. It doesn't count. That's garbage. That's garbage. That's garbage. That's winnable. 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 Win what the? Why am I wonder? What the? Hello? Why my wondrous piece is so good? Okay, we're going to have to go through those wondrous pieces at some point. Because a lot of those were actually pretty good. Okay, rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. Don't need any of those. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I need this to roll into crit rate. I need, I need this to roll into crit rate. I have spent over 600 days playing this game. And I have not had a single geo damage goblet from the Noblesse set, which has crit rate and crit damage on it. I've never had that. This is not a bad piece either. And I need it. This could be the moment we have been waiting for, for a very, 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 very long time. This could end my hunt for the Zhongli Geo Damage Goblet. And I would like it to end because it's not been fun. I will be the first one to tell you guys, I have not enjoyed throwing thousands of artifacts into this stinky stinky box crit rate it could even be 2.7 3.9 and i'll strip butt naked and run down the street like a hooligan okay but if it keeps rolling into crit damage if it keeps rolling into crit damage hear me out this all right Roll 7.8%, 14.8% crit damage. Then it rolls another 7.8%. And because 7.8% is actually 7.75% just rounded up, it would be 22.5. And then we go again, and then it'll be over 30. And then we go again, and it'll be like 37 or 38, something like that. Watch, boom. 
I'm trying to think. We have the level 12, we have three more rolls. This can still go over 30 crit value. This can still go over 30 crit value. <clears throat> this is going to be the last set of artifacts. And then I'm never going to play Kenshin again. And I'm going to start playing... You know what? I'll start playing Omori. Unless we get a good artifact here. I will start playing Omori today. All right, here we go. There's some potential. There's some potential. The two masks. The two crit masks. We got a tiny fraction, infinitely small chance to make a miracle happen. It just needs to roll crit damage. I'm not asking for a lot. Sometimes when you ask, you don't receive. Now, a lot of people say that I'm a giver and I give, give, give and the games and the people that I invest my giving into just take, take, take. But right here, right now, that changes because we're going to get crit rate here. It's my turn to take, take, take. Today, I reclaim. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I had a wonderful time today and I have obtained some mediocre artifacts at best. And I guess you guys will be seeing an Amori playthrough on my YouTube channel very, very soon. Thank you so much. I think Amori is going to add to the great depression that I am facing right now. And I'm trying to, you know, have a smile on my face because I hecking love Genshin Impact. I love RNG. I love it so much. Just want to say a massive thank you to all the snakes, scammers, bonobos, baboons, and bozos. The planet of the apes down below. You can come join us in the future, guys, at www.twitch.tv forward slash Asian guy stream. And you know what? We will do one more, you know, because you guys who stay till the very, very, very bitter end, you guys deserve it, right? The people that leave and click off the video and don't wait till the very bitter end, they're going to miss out. They're going to miss out on what is going to be the greatest artifact piece I have ever pulled. And then when they come to the stream, they're going to be like, whoa, Atsu, where did you get that noblesse piece? With 55 crit value. And I'll be like, oh, you didn't watch till the end of the video, did you? One of the hypest moments in my Genshin Impact career. 39 absolute trash pieces are about to be converted into Magnifique, into Bellissimo, into Muy Bien, into Estoy Caliente, into Mi Gusta. You guys ready for this? Where were you? Look around you. Look around you right now. Remember what is in your surroundings. Remember where you were in this exact moment. Remember, as we pop off like you've never seen before. As we pop off like you've never seen before. That's a start towards the Zhongli supremacy. Okay. 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 It's winnable. It, look, it's winnable, guys. Look, look, hear me out. Hear me out. It's winnable. It's got HP percent and it's got crit rate. Now, if it constantly rolls into crit rate, it's winnable. And this HP piece, you know, once we get a Geo Spear in the future, that's going to be my go-to Zhongli piece. So, to really end off this video, to really well and truly end off this video, I first need to find the freaking artifact. There it is. You guys aren't taking me seriously right now. But when I land this 6.6%, 6.6% crit rate. When I land attack percent or energy recharge on this piece, wherever it, it was, you know what? This piece is actually better. So we're going to roll this one first. It's been locked for a long time. And today we're going to see exactly why I locked it for a long time. Well, thank you so much to everyone that watched today's video. It is now 50 minutes long. I love, I, I love 
Genshin Impact so much. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Shout out to the whatever these things underneath my webcam are. And as Artakito says, let's go have some fun. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye bye.